Amy Stevens, founder and CEO of You're the Book Press and editor-in-chief of Self Pub Magazine. I am totally wicked psyched to be here in the studio today with Dixie. How do I say your last name, Dixie? Halaj. Halaj. We are here with Dixie Halaj, otherwise known as Dixie Ann. Do you have alter egos like me? <laughs> um, yeah. When I'm being professional, I'm Dixie Ann. Dixie Ann. Mm -hmm. That's a lovely name. Tell me a little bit about setting up s &H Publishing. What is it that you do? Well, I started, I self-published my first book. Congratulations. When, uh, this was, um, I think, in 2010, the very end of 2010. And then I found there's a whole new world out there of mm -hmm. self-published authors that I never even knew existed. And it was Relax. fascinating. <laughs> and I, I was just thrilled to find so many really talented authors and really good books. Because of course, self-publishing has such a bad rep. It so, does. Without the gatekeepers, everybody can get in. But right. I, I think and what so I'm hearing I from you is that there are many stories worth publishing. I found a couple of websites that did act as gatekeepers, um, awesome, awesomeindies.com, and there's something called Indie Pen Dent, indie with I-E, okay. as in, you know, indie publishers. Mm -hmm. And I started reviewing for Awesome Indies and evaluating for the independent, because they don't call it reviewing, they don't. They, they want evaluation of the quality of the book, not the writing necessarily, um, not the same way. And then I found out that, it, you know, I just kept going through the process of reading all these wonderful authors. And by the time I'd finished my third novel, it's just mm -hmm. Lola, I found the world of small publishers and I found that there were so many manifestations from the predators that are just yes. waiting for the poor innocent author to fall into their web. <laughs> That's and, a beautiful metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> and then there are so many that, that just want to make their money from the author. Mm -hmm. And then they'll put it up on their website, they'll put their name on it, and they're done. What do you think really distinguishes the, um, the books that come out from self-published authors on their own and then those using independent uh, publishing services like yours? Quality. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, I, I don't accept anything that I wouldn't be proud to have displayed next to my own books. Okay, so what kinds, uh, are there specific details of those publications and um, even beyond the story itself that you can point to, the gaps that some self-publishers fall into? Well, I, you have to have, you have to have a story that shines, you know, a, a story that grabs a person and the manuscript, the writing has to shine. And in order for that to happen, you have to have professional editing. You have to have professional book covers designed. Absolutely. You have to have the, you know, all of the same things that commercial publishers do for you. But I try to do the same things. I try to give you the individual attention that the big guys can't do. You know, I regularly Skype with my authors, even the ones that are already published. I get behind them whenever they're trying to do some marketing. And I, if they want to do a Goodreads giveaway, I'll put up an ad for their giveaway. Uh, you know, we work together. I, the big thing is the author is my partner in this. I'm the author's partner. They're not a tool, they're not a customer. And they're not hanging out there on their own either. Right. That's so nice. 
what, um, tell us a little bit about the process an author might go through to get to work with SNH Publishing. Well, first thing, they have to write an awesome book. And, <laughs> and it has okay. to be, as I said, edited. Because, unfortunately, small publishers don't have the same resources, financial resources. I do invest in every book I publish. I invest in one final edit. I invest in cover design. I do a trailer. All of this is is an investment of time and money. Mm -hmm. And But I can't do the book shepherd kind of thing. I can't be a writing coach. Okay, so an author, let's say I have a finished manuscript um, that I've had professionally edited. What's my next step? I go to the submissions at snhpublishing.com, okay. read the guidelines, and it, you know, submit a query. And the first, at, at the moment, I'm asking for the first 50 pages. Okay. And. Wait your turn. <laughs> All right. All right. So I, I have my, my spreadsheet of the 163 places now that I've submitted my manuscript to. And I write SNH Publishing and today's date. All right. Tell me, walk me through the next steps. Okay. I contact you. I and say, here I'm, I'm like, you know, praying, please, 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 oh, please. And I, I say that I try to make it 60 days, but when something like the new anthology I'm working on comes up, everything else has to, has to wait. Okay. So somebody who's in the queue that would have been like 60 days will probably be more like 90 or, you know. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So when, if I read the 50 pages and I think this sounds awesome, I send it to one of my readers Mm -hmm. And I get a second opinion. Okay. And then I contact the author and I say, I'm interested. Would you like to send me the rest of the manuscript? Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. What happens on the flip side? This is a, you know, my, my writing is not up to snuff. Am I ever going to hear back from you, Dixie? Yes. Oh. You will always hear from me. In, I may just say, unfortunately, your writing's not up to snuff. <laughs> oh no! I don't. I don't say it that way. I say your manuscript's not ready for prime time. <laughs> <laughs> and I make a note on my spreadsheet. <laughs> and I usually give a reason what what made me say that. You know, you jump points of view. You know, you don't get into the action until you're at the end of this. Okay. I I give something. That's really to helpful. The that that certainly distinguishes you from from the huge pack of others whom I've never received so much as an email response. Yeah, from. unless it's it's really miserable and this person doesn't even speak English, and <laughs> you know I get those regularly. Oh my! So they, I I just say sorry. This doesn't fit my editorial needs. Okay, so just to clarify, are you um, uh, the kind of independent publisher that works for uh, flat fees or a royalty split? A royalty split. A royalty split, and then do your authors who are accepted um, have fees up front or at any Nothing. point during the process? Nothing. Okay. But the royalty split is graduated because I, I put money into every book. Mm -hmm. And that money comes out of my pocket. And oh, it would sure. Be really yeah. nice to get it back. You know, I. Professional cover design, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's and so, in the beginning, your first 300 books, your share of the royalty is lower. Okay. And then. And that's book dependent, right? Each story, you may assign different royalty split or no. Uh, yes, I do on some of them, but it's it's a graduated royalty split, mm -hmm. and so once I feel that I've, you know, recouped, assuming you can sell enough copies for me to recoup, which is awesome and what we always aim for, right. then you get more of the royalties than I do, but I still have to keep the lights on. You know, there are. <laughs> I'm in favor of lights being on. Yeah. 
So I <laughs> keep something alone. all the way. And and if you public if you bring me a sequel that mm-hmm. I accept. That ups your royalties on the first book as well. Ah, oh, that's a really nice touch then. Okay, tell tell me a little bit more about formats that. Um, hopefully, my book is going to meet the grade. Oh. Okay, <laughs> what can I expect or hope for there? Okay, every book comes out in print and in all the ebook formats. So I put it up through. Generally, the first stop is Create Space with the print copy and then from there we go to Kindle and to Smashwords which gets it out to iTunes and the Nook and Kobo and all the other outlets. Do you find a good balance between sales on the Kindle version and every other platform? Uh, for ebooks, the Kindle version obviously sells far and above, and it really depends on the author and the book whether they sell more print or more ebooks. Ah, okay, all right, wonderful. So, I, oh, gosh, you know <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm trying to put myself in the mind of um, someone with a finished manuscript and all the hopes in the universe. Uh, so, so I try, okay, when you come to me and you've done that, I say, okay, this is what you need to do. Do you have a website? You know, I help you and guide you through building your platform. I don't expect you to come with one, but if you do, <laughs> that's awesome too. You know, you, you set up a website and then I say pick at least two social media. And, and then I have, I'm, I'm building a resource library of, okay, if you're not comfortable with Twitter, that's fine. Um, what about Pinterest? You know, what about, and, and the Facebook mm-hmm. Old Faithful, and Tumblr, and Instagram, you know, what makes you comfortable? Mm-hmm. And these are tips on how to get the most out of Pinterest, how to get the most out of different social okay. media. That sounds really valuable. I love it. All right. So I, I want to sign up today. Uh, <laughs> remind me again of the website where I can come to find out about submissions. S and H publishing.com. But you have to spell out the word and because you can't have an ampersand. Wonderful. We'll okay. stick that up on the screen here for our viewers today. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you at York Book Expo. Uh, if some of our viewers are um, want to be published authors. Um, will they be able to meet you there? Absolutely. Is this a conversation they could have in person with you? Yes, they can. I would love to meet them. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dixie, for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me, and I hope I've answered all your questions. And anyone who has questions is welcome to email, send me an email. What's that address? And I'll cut um, it up. Books at snhpublishing.com. Fantastic. I think your inbox is going to be flooded. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again.